And when we're talking about, you know, the commodification of people's bodies and their services, and, you know, when we're all participating in capitalism, all of our employers are commodifying like our time um, and labor, you know, John Morant specifically and NBA superstars as a whole, right, are seen more than just like the stats that you can produce on a basketball court, right? That's important, but, you know, the marketing of the game so people tune in to watch the marketing of the game so people come and attend the game, you know, all the marketing deals that individuals might have to endorse brands, right? You know, the perspectives that each of those entities, each of those corporate entities are asking uh, these young men to take on um, is a lot. And there's not always this care for the whole person uh, built in to that process. And so when things like this happen in past circumstances, right, past circumstances, right, um, there might have been immediate suspension or immediate uh, long-term suspension, right? There mm-hmm. might've been contracts revoked. Um, in this instance, right, the messaging that came out pretty much across the board is like, hey, we stand by Jaw, um, and we're taking this time. He's taking this time to get help, right? And, you know, the as of this airing, he is due to come back from what was an eight game suspension um, after spending some time away going down to a counseling center in Florida um, and, you know, having conversations with a uh, team and league administrators about, you know, the progress that he's made and steps that he's going to take going forward and making a public apology. Uh, all of those things have happened in, you know, the way that he's going to continue to, you um, live up to those agreements that he's made with people remains to be seen. But as you've witnessed all of this, like what do you hope that people learn from this? Um, because like, you know, I should have said at the beginning, you and I do not know the ins and outs of John Moran's life or uh, the lives of the people going uh, like who are employees of the Memphis Grizzlies or all that. And so like everything that we're saying is observation from the information available to us. And if we're wrong about uh, things, um, we own that. Um, we have limited perspective on this. But given the information that we have, what do you hope that people learn from what's happened uh, with this restorative lens? I think about how shifting from take the person out of the situation and there's no more problem. Mm-hmm. Or that person, that's the bad apple. Like this theory that there's bad apples when rather there's systems that are creating these things. There are systems that are not working for people. So to understand that if there are systems that are not working for people, you're still going to have instances where these things occur. So if you're saying there's a lot of healing that needs to occur, what does that healing look like? Really to facilitate and be able to step into understanding that we have to have proactive um, approaches. And that's not saying the league has training programs Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing that we said about training and restorative work. It's lifelong. You don't learn about finances in two hours or two months. It's lifelong. So just really looking at things from a lens and people may already, some people may already be doing this, right? So there's not an assumption there, but taking home and understanding that there are many perspectives to this and considering what people may be holding in those moments. We don't know what job was holding. You don't know what even the newscasters were holding when they when they got there. It could they could have been triggered by this particular incident, and it was like you're the blame, right? But how to that, that responsibility and just understanding perspectives and then taking responsibility where we where we need to. Yeah, yeah, and I think there's a whole other conversation that's to be had about us as consumers of the product that is the NBA. Um, placing um, our values on people who we don't know and aren't in real relationship with like parasocial relationships right. real and like to protect, sorry, to project our values on these corporations or these people like probably isn't the most healthy way to move through the world. I think about Charles Barkley saying like, you know, I'm not a role model, right? Like athletes aren't role models. Like athletes are whole people who are uh, moving throughout the world. You should, you as a parent or you as a uh, a young person should be building relationships with people in your community and building that way. But yeah, still please buy my shoes. I guess like that was <laughs> Charles Barkley's message in that commercial. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's on us to continue to like explicitly have these conversations within our own communities. And so when incidents like this happen, 
um, we have ways, we have agreements to like hold each other too, right? Yeah. And we have ways of dealing with them, right? I know within the context of the NBA handbook, there are rules about bringing guns to the team facilities. And that's not what happened in this case, or that's not what the investigation found in this place. Ja was doing this on his own time in a strip club, but there are like morality clauses. And so like in those gray areas, um, when the conduct is detrimental to, you know, the team, the league as a whole, right? What are the things that we're going to put in place to make sure that um, these things don't happen again? And the person who has caused the harm and the people who have been impacted are getting the support that they need. Um, mm. I'm not going to judge whether or not the process that went on uh, was restorative or not. I would lean towards not maybe fully holy, but again, like you and I don't know the ins and outs of what happened. Uh, we can only hope for the best for Ja moving forward. Um, and, you know, all young people who are looking up to him and um, everybody involved. Mm -hmm.